With print on demand, many sellers think that having a nice branded experience for their customer is simply impossible. But with a little creativity and the help of a brand new feature with Printify, the impossible is now completely possible. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy, and as the owner of multiple six-figure businesses, including several Etsy print on demand shops, my goal is to provide you with strategies to simplify the print on demand journey, scale your business faster, and ultimately help you feel empowered to achieve your own success. Now, when it comes to running a business, branding can take many forms. For example, my handmade business is all about natural skincare. So my branding is all about nature, soft colors, wildflowers, bees, and things like that, because that's ultimately what my brand is all about. With branding, the ultimate goal is to be able to establish recognition for your business and create an identity around that even in its simplest form of having a well put together logo and cohesive banner in your Etsy shop, branding can help establish who you are and set you apart from other businesses and shops that are out there. Especially on Etsy, when really people think of going to shop out on Etsy and not necessarily going to shop for a brand. And if you're running your print on demand shop on your own platform, like a website with Shopify, branding plays an even bigger role in fostering a connection with your customers. So in today's video, I wanna share with you three different ways in Printify that you can establish a branded experience for your customer, especially if you're selling apparel that will not only help you build that brand recognition, but ultimately incentivize customers to return to your shop instead of that other guys. And make sure you stay for the last one because it's a brand new feature in Printify and it's a total game changer for print on demand. So the first one, very simple. As you're setting up your shop within Printify, there's a setting under your My Store where you can set up a ship from address. You can either use your own address or do like I do, and you can go to your post office and get a PO box. It's a small yearly investment, but it's a nice alternative if you don't wanna have your own address out there. But what this does is when the print provider is fulfilling your item, they will use this custom address for the return address on that package that goes to the customer instead of their default fulfillment center address. The first option in Printify, and I recommend this no matter what, is when you set up your store name, it will tell you that this will be your ship from field on shipping labels. So I definitely make sure to change this so that it matches what my shop name is because the default here will just be my store. So change that, make sure it represents what your shop name is. And then the other spot in here is the ship from address. Now by default, it will have the Printify default turned on, which means the return address on the label will be whatever that fulfillment center's address is. But for my shops, I like to turn on this other custom address and I actually use my business PO box. And this really serves two purposes. One, if there happens to be a bad customer address and it gets returned to sender, it goes back to you instead of the distribution center. And two, it's a small little way for the customer to recognize that that package is coming from you and not some other random business. Now keep in mind, not every print provider will use this address. They simply don't have the capability on their end to pull that in. So you might need to test out a few samples to see what will work and what won't. And it's certainly not a deal breaker if it doesn't work for the products or provider that you've chosen. But again, if you've got that option, build that in. And it's just a small little detail that again, helps to add to that experience. The second branding option that applies specifically to apparel is with neck tags. Now, if you don't know what that is, that is when the brand label is replaced with your own logo or whatever you would like to include in this spot on the inside neck of your shirt. This is an amazing way to get your brand, your logo directly onto a product that a customer is receiving. One of the primary suppliers of this neck tag functionality was Demona T. Demona T definitely has a very high quality product and their printing quality is wonderful. If you're not sure which shirts offer neck labels, the easiest way to do that is go to t-shirt and then under this branding, they have the ability to search for neck labels and you can filter that way. And it will tell you which products have that. Then when you actually click on a product, you can scroll through and then see which provider has neck labels available. Pretty much one of the only providers is going to be Demona. So if we click on that and say start designing, we'll get to the spot where we can add in our design like normal. And then you'll notice at the top there is this neck label inner. And when we click on that, this is where we can add in our design, our logo, whatever we'd like to include. Remember on that back label inside the shirt. I actually just created a simple logo in Canva when I initially set up this Etsy shop. If you've seen my video on how to set up an Etsy shop from start to finish, you probably saw me create this, but essentially 
you can keep it simple and use what you already have. You wanna make sure that your design and your logo is clear so that it will appear clearly on the shirt itself. And I just designed this in a simple square canvas. This one I believe is a 2000 by 2000 pixel. It's plenty big, you don't need it that big. I tend to just design on larger canvases because then I know that I'm always working with a decent size resolution for my designs. Once you've got this, I actually simply exported this as a transparent PNG. For this case, you don't particularly need to have it transparent. It's okay if there's a background. I just like the look of having more of a transparent background with just the logo that stands out. You'll see what that looks like once I import it into Printify. So this is where I can come in and add my design. As you can see, you only need it to be 750 by 750 pixels. So anything above that will be just fine. Just make sure you've got it at a decent size resolution so that it shows up clearly as part of the label. Once you've got your logo and design in here, you can then move it around so that it fits nicely within that box. We wanna make sure it's not covering up the size information or any of the product information. In terms of the care instructions, you can't change any of this, but if you wanted to change the font color of this, you could. Otherwise, we're simply going to center this, make sure it looks nice. We can shrink it if we don't want it to be too close to that lettering. And then if we go up to preview, we can see here exactly what it will look like on the shirt along with our design. These neck labels won't automatically come into every new design. You'll need to create it every time you're creating a new product in Printify. But a neat little trick that I like to use is you can save it as a template. So once I've got my logo in here, if I go save as template, it's going to save it. I can type in logo and save it. And then if we were needing to add this design, say we were starting with a brand new product, then your templates end up being right up here under my templates. And so click on that and you've automatically got your logo that you can just pop into place and you're good to go. You don't have to find it and go search for it every single time. And the third and final branding functionality that you can do directly within Printify is what I am personally most excited about. It's a brand new feature and I think it's a game changer when it comes to print on demand and, and having the option for branding. And the best part about it is it's completely free. This new feature is branded inserts. You can now turn on the ability to include a branded insert with every order from providers that offer it. And what this insert is, it's a blank canvas. It's a four by six card that will go in every single order when you've got this activated in Printify. This is your chance to have something that's completely you and on brand included with the order that your customer receives. This is your opportunity to include a thank you. It's your opportunity to include a discount code so that a customer will return to your shop. And in doing so, you can also very easily have your website or a QR code like I have on mine where a customer can literally scan your card, get taken directly to your shop and use that code. This is a brilliant way of incentivizing customers to return specifically to you, not just, oh, I think I bought this on Etsy. No, this is your branding, your shop. You get the creativity to have this insert in there and create it entirely around your branding so that a customer will recognize it as your shop when they open your order. And if they love the product, go right back to your shop and hopefully buy some more. You definitely have the ability to create your own card using the tools that are built into Printify, very much like you would with a mock-up generator for creating your own designs. However, I like to take it one step further and design my brand insert entirely in Canva and then upload the entire design into Printify. When I'm in Canva, I'm going to set this up as a six inch by four inch card. You can do that here by creating a custom size and this six by four matches specifications in Printify. Once you've got your blank canvas ready, I actually started by bringing in my logo, which I already had. And from there, I simply just pulled in coordinating colors. Once you have your size set up, you can type in up here, thank you. And that will bring you a variety of different options. You can see this is what I started with mine here. I simply just made some updates once I started with a template. Again, I have all of my branding colors in here. I pulled in, again, if you saw me design some of my branding for the Etsy shop when I built this shop from scratch for my YouTube course, this is one of the images that I pulled in. I have a code set up that I created in my Etsy shop that will correspond here. And this is a larger discount that I would normally provide in my shop. But again, my goal with this is to really incentivize customers to return to my shop. 
The other piece that I'll have in here that you'll notice is I have the URL directly for my shop. I have it in here in case I've got a customer that doesn't know how to use a QR code or if they simply want to be able to share the direct link. I make sure to include that as well as this QR code. If you're not sure how to do that, you can do that directly in Canva. If you come over here to this apps button and you type in QR, you'll see that there is a QR creator. There's a couple different ones. I simply just use this basic QR one. And then you're simply going to copy and paste in your direct Etsy URL, essentially your direct link to your shop. If you're using a regular website for your shop, like a Shopify or a Wix, essentially copy in whatever you want this code to go to when a customer scans it, use that link. So essentially we'll enter that in here and then you'll see generate code. You can customize it if you want to, if you wanna change the colors. Again, I typically just keep my basic and then generate code and it'll drop it in and you can go about resizing. As you're designing your card, make sure you leave enough margin around the border because part of that may get cut off in the printing process and you don't wanna have a partial QR code in there or a missing part of your link. So make sure that you leave plenty of room around the edges for that printing process. Once you're ready, you can simply hit share and all you need to do is download it as a regular PNG. In this case, we don't want it to be transparent because I've got actually a different color in here. So I wanna keep this exactly as the way it looks on the screen. For branded inserts, you're gonna head back to that My Store setup in Printify, the same place where we made sure we had our store name and our ship from address set up. With this new feature, there is now a branding option at the bottom of that list. And this is where the package inserts are. Now, when you go in for the first time, this will be toggled off. And so it will look like this and be disabled, meaning that no inserts are going into any of your orders. So to turn that on, you are going to switch that to enabled, meaning that it's turned on. This will then give you the edit design button at the bottom. So you can see I already have mine in here, but normally you'll just see kind of a placeholder in there and ready for you. So when you click on edit design, it will take you here and it's going to look a lot like your mock-up generator does anytime you're creating a new product. And that's because it works nearly identical. Just like with the mock-up generator, you do have the ability to do some of the basic designing in here. You'll still have the custom text. You can still use different graphics in order to make it your own. But like I said, I like to take it one step further and do all of my full branding in Canva so that it's all cohesive and looks like it all belongs together. Then once you import it into Printify, it'll be in here just like any other image that you would be working with as you're designing in the mock-up generator. So you can resize it as needed. Typically, I leave it as is so that it fully extends to all of the corners of the design itself. As I mentioned, this is kind of your bleed line, which means that anything outside this is at risk of not being printed. So I always make sure my design extends beyond this dotted line and that anything important for text or design is well inside that line. If you have more than one shop associated with one brand, so for example, if you run an Etsy shop as well as a Shopify site, and they're both tied to the same brand, you can also save this as a template. So just like we do with the neck tag, if we go to save as template, that will save it up here under my templates so that if you go to set up a branded insert under your other store, it will be there and ready for you. You don't have to upload the whole thing again. The only difference is that if you run it on two different sites, you might wanna have your primary website listed here instead of your Etsy shop depends on how you want to set it up. But for example, when I have my handmade brand that started on Etsy, I still have a few items in my Etsy shop. I direct those customers to my website when they actually get their order. Same thing could apply here. If you use Etsy to get organic traffic, you could then use this as your tool for driving traffic to your website if you run both of those. You don't have to, but many shops do that. So that is one strategy that you could use for this branded insert. Otherwise, if you have just an Etsy shop or if you have just a Shopify site, put your website in there, have that already as part of your branding and use this branded insert for your shop. Once your insert is ready and you've got it designed how you want to, simply save this product. That will then update the image here and it is ready to go, meaning that any order going forward with the branded insert option available will have this inserted in the order. So right now I know that Demona has this available. As you're scrolling through products, you'll be able to see 
in this branding the inserts option as well if you saw me going here to filter for neck labels you probably saw this here as well and might have wondered what it is now you know so if we filter by both neck labels and inserts this again shows us which products here under the t-shirt category will be able to do that as this feature continues expanding there will definitely become more options and more providers available you also don't have to filter so if you're not sure and you're simply scrolling through products let's say we click on gildan 64000 the other place that it will show up as you're scrolling is right here so you can see there are little flags that are associated with each of these brands so you can see demona again has that branded inserts as well as neck labels the cool thing is once you have branded inserts it's turned on as I said any order going forward from that moment will have the branded insert included in the order and you can tell by when you click on the order itself you'll see here that the branded insert is now attached in there right next to where your product preview is and you can see this little notification here that says branded insert included so that's how you'll know that the insert is going to be included when that print provider fulfills the order to your customer and again this is all at no additional cost to you keep in mind not all providers have the capability of doing this so just be aware of that and look for the designation when you are selecting your products at the moment i know that demona was kind of the flagship provider to do this and when paired with that neck tag is a great way to again combine that branding and if you've seen any of my videos you know that i have a handmade business does the branding that's available in printify or any other print on demand provider compare to a handmade business and what you're able to do there no quite frankly it'll probably never match that and with print on demand you don't necessarily want it to and that's because again we are paying for the convenience of someone else to do the heavy lifting with fulfilling our orders the more tasks that we give them in this fulfillment process the higher those costs will be and the smaller our profit margins will be so as business owners specifically for print on demand ultimately our goal should be in balancing our efforts to have both that positive branded experience for customers when it's possible providing a quality product and still ensure that we are running a financially sound business in the process if you're adding on all the fancy layers and the fancy branding but not making any money in the process you're not actually running a successful business so just remember it's about having that balance but ultimately i think that utilizing these branding options within printify will definitely help us achieve that goal and maintain that balance i hope this video has been helpful for you i can't tell you enough how i myself am personally excited about this i love branding i think it's fun to create these types of branding opportunities and so i hope that you'll be exploring them as well if you want to learn more about my strategies for print on demand success make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content that I've got planned. And in the meantime, make sure that you check out my dedicated playlist with my free masterclass course available right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you're here and I'll see you next time. And if you're looking for more helpful ways to continue the work and stay connected, I invite you to join me over on Patreon where I provide a membership to get exclusive access to my Google Drive with all sorts of wonderful tools and resources that I've created and continue adding to every month. It's also a place to join conversations as I think about future content and how I can serve you with the most amount of value. I also hope that you'll smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all of the exciting upcoming content that I've got planned for this channel. And finally, I invite you to check out my brand new website where you can subscribe to my own email list, follow along on new blog content that I will be building, and access other freebies that I have available on there to support you on your journey.